All right, so one question I've seen for uh, last night's House of the Dragon episode is when Princess Rhaenys, the queen who never was, uh, gets her dragon malaise from the uh, dragon pit, she bursts up through the floor and it's a big dramatic scene where she, you know, the townsfolk are, are running and screaming and everybody up on the, the stage, like Aegon just be, having just been crowned and coronated, um, coronated directly following his coronation um and you know we've got Alicent and Otto Hightower up there we have Aemon Helena uh we've got you know, the, the Septon we've all sort of all the greens all the conspirators for this coup and Rhaenys is up there right in front of him with her great big old dragon and none of them have their dragons and in that moment she could have just said Dracarys and burned them all to death and a lot of people are like, oh, why didn't she do that? That makes no sense. Now, I admittedly, in the moment, I'm thinking, oh, come on, Barnum, you'll save so many lives if you just kill them, kill them now. Cut the head from the snake. But here's the thing. Uh, why doesn't she? Um, I guess I, I didn't watch the show. I, I try not to watch the showrunners explain things because I like to interpret them myself without being told. By the people creating the show because I feel like people creating the show you know they have to convey the meaning to us without telling us afterwards if they fail at that um, that might be on them it might be on us for not for not understanding to some degree and it might be on them for not communicating that through the show but I try to just um, think about it myself first at least but uh, I think there's a few reasons first of all uh, the princess herself is not a vicious murderer. Uh, like Viserys and and most of the people um, of her generation, I would say, she has you know lived in a time of peace. Her grandfather, King Jaehaerys, was was not we would, wouldn't didn't shy from a fight, but he ruled so well that he ruled over a peaceful kingdom, a, a largely peaceful kingdom, for over fifty years. Burning a bunch of nobility to death was not really something that people just did, like you know, just just on a whim. Uh, and certainly, in her lifetime, that sort of thing had never happened. Nobody was just going around burning people with their dragons. Um, this is not just some, you know, small thing. Now, now people say, well, they're traitors. Well, okay, you know, according to Alicent, Viserys's last words were that Aegon should be king. Uh, is it Rhaenys' job to just decide as the judge and jury and everyone, you know, and, and she's, not, she's not in a position of power to, to make that decision, first of all, but is it, her, is it her job to decide that they are actually traitors and should all be put to death? You know, uh, there are consequences for this sort of thing. She would be not only viewed as a kingslayer, having just killed her young nephew, essentially, I don't know. The, the, the relationship gets gets tricky, but she is related by blood to Aemon, Helena, and Aegon. If she killed them, she would not only be a kingslayer, but a kinslayer. And in Westeros, this is a pretty big deal. Not just, uh, you know, it's, it's a matter of deep honor and reputation. Killing your kin is not looked upon with, you know, with any sort of uh, approval. Anyone who does this is viewed forever as a kinslayer, um, like Jamie was a kingslayer, she would be a kingslayer and a kinslayer. Uh, she would have killed Helena, who, who is innocent completely, hasn't done anything wrong. Uh, Aemond also, again, you know, even though you know those of us who know the the source material know that he goes on to do some terrible things. Most of the characters in this show do, but he hasn't done anything either. Um, even Aegon has been put in this position by his elders. He didn't demand the throne. In fact, he was quite reluctant to take it. I know she doesn't know this, but again, she would be killing three young people who who did who committed no crimes. Well, at least two of them. You could say Aegon is a is is a usurper now that he took the, the crown, but his siblings certainly aren't. Um, so she would be murdering outright, and she would also be killing a Septon 
which would put the faith against her and and the the faith is is you know that's a big deal the whole the whole country essentially all of the entire seven kingdoms outside of like Rhaenyra and Daemon would be denouncing her immediately and and she would be you know if not executed for this she would her her entire life would be over essentially um and especially given that her husband is grievously wounded her first order of business is protecting herself getting her dragon and going back and protecting what's hers uh to to to, to kill all these people would have it would have prevented at least the civil war as as it happens in the stories um because all the people with dragons on the team green would be dead and the only people with dragons that could ride them in the whole you know seven kingdoms would be rhaenyra and her people her 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 children Damon, and then of course the uh the the drift mark bela and reyna um although they don't both have dragons yet um so yes, much pain, and, and 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 there's the other thing. She doesn't know what's coming at this point. There is there's not a war on. Uh, war has not been declared. Nobody's been killed, uh, and you know, in the and this isn't really a spoiler, but in in the story, in, in Martin's story, you know, initially nobody wants there to be a war. There, there's a, a war of, you know, people have to gather their strength, find their allies. There's a war of words. You know, messages sent out, you know, all this stuff. But it doesn't go straight to war. There's, there's also, I've seen, like, comments and, and whatnot, um, not just on my channel, but in, on social media and, and everywhere, where they're like, well, doesn't, you know, how, why isn't Rhaenyra there? Why doesn't she know right away? Why, where are her spies? Why doesn't she come swooping in on King's Landing uh, with, uh, you know, her and Damon on their dragons? Why don't they come in? Well, okay, first of all, they do have spies. Uh, Masaria, or whatever her name is, the White Worm, I always say her name wrong. The lady with the bad accent. It's probably my least favorite part of this whole show, actually, is her accent. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, but uh, she's a spy master and for sure is feeding intelligence to Team Black. But they're on Dragonstone. And um, a, this is, you know, the death has been kept fairly hush hush. And it takes time to, to you know, even to send ravens would take time. Once Rhaenyra knows about this, then it's not like her initial response is just like hop on your dragon and fly to King's Landing. Because you gotta remember that there are also dragons in King's Landing. And Vagar, the, the largest of them all, the largest, oldest, and most dangerous dragon, is Aemon's dragon. So you can't just hop on your dragon and go to Red, the Red Keep and, and try to, you know, because they have other defenses also. You know, they've got scorpions and crosswomen and bowmen. You, you know, attacking a fortified position that also has dragons is no simple thing and not something you just rush to. Um, so people need to calm down about this stuff. You, the, the initial... <laughs> The initial response before war is declared, before any violence has happened, is not necessarily violence. You know, people with 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 uh, calmer, uh, cooler heads. That's the word. That's the phrase I'm looking. For. Cooler heads sometimes prevail. Now, there will be blood. <laughs> there will be fire. But right now, you know, none has been shed. This is this has been a peaceful coup. And had Rainus just burned everyone alive, that would have been a pretty radical move on her part now what about all the small folk that were killed well okay i'm gonna blame the show for a little bit of dramatization here a little bit of uh um uh, uh shock value you know i don't know why the dragon would burst through the floor like that i i don't know i mean but the point is also that the small folk in westeros are treated like chattel they're they're they're, they're not really their lives are not valued the same as the nobility right even the good guys the good guys and there's not really I'm going to say there's not good guys. There are, even the good guys in this show are not so good to people beneath their station. You know, there's a lot of brutality and there's a lot of class division and, and that's just the way this, that it works. And so, you know, bursting through the floor to make a statement, a power statement, a power play, uh, that's just, that's kind of the cost of doing business. Um, in terms of why Rainus would turn her back on Alicent and go with Rhaenyra, even though Rhaenyra and Daemon have not been so great to them. Um, I would say, well, partly their, their children are betrothed to one another. That's a pretty big part of it. 
uh, you know, Jason, Bela, and Luke and Reyna are betrothed. Uh, Luke is the heir to Driftmark, her husband's seat of power, and she is just whether whether she loves them or even likes them or not, that's where she's thrown her lot. And to turn back now, uh, that'd be a pretty big deal. And certainly, I don't think Corliss would go along with that. So, I think there's lots of reasons why she wouldn't just turn around and 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 also like, what does she have to trust with Otto? And Allison, they haven't been particularly faithful, uh, trustworthy, or honest individuals. So I really do see why she would go back to the people she's already al aligned with. Um, and I, you know, so that's my explanation. Take it or leave it. Uh, I think there's also just Rainus's personality, which is that she's not, she's not just a cold-blooded killer who's going to kill a bunch of defenseless people. I don't think she's above killing. But I don't think she's the type who just goes and and slaughters a bunch of a bunch of people who some of whom are at this point innocent. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I know a lot of people. This was a more divisive episode than I thought it would be. I really enjoyed it, uh, but a lot of people seem to have misgivings or disliked it for various reasons. So let me know what you think, um, and I'll link also to my review of the episode itself. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing and doing all those helpful things for me. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. Peace.